What's up everyone, Project Garage here. Um, <sighs> got some more car parts just before I go away. Um, I, I've i ordered all the stuff for the intake, but um, what I've got at the moment is um, ordered second hand actually. Well, it's not brand new, it's um, it's just second hand. Uh, I got it off another Focus. Uh, I ended up getting a rear diffuser for it. And because um, mine's the LS model, so mine doesn't have the rear diffuser and it's prefaced, but the facelift actually had a rear diffuser that they could. You could actually literally on the the, L, the LV model, sorry, um, which is the next model up from mine, you could actually um, just clip the diffuser in because it was just a factory option. So they all come out of one of the XR5s, but mine you actually can't. It's part of the bumper. But I know what to do to fix this. I can. Um, easily sicker flex the top half on. The bottom half should actually have two screws that go through or two clips. But anyway I'll turn I'll turn the camera around and we'll um we'll have a look at this diffuser I got. Just so you know guys, this is why my camera is hard to adjust. It's all smashed out and sometimes it gets dirty and it doesn't focus properly. But yeah anyway, so there's the spiker boy. Hey big boy He's sleeping. Anyway, so um, first of all, I've got some plastic um, primer and some gloss black because, you know, my focus is obviously um, silver. So I also just got, because i got lots of other sandpaper. I'm probably not really going to need too much thick stuff because the diffuser itself is very, I've got 1,500 grit and I've got, that feels like 2,000, so I've got 2,000 and 1,500. That's just to give the sand in between the, the coats. Anyway, so this is the diffuser. Um, I bought it from a Wreckers, uh, $90. So it's probably the cheapest diffuser you can probably get, really. Anyway, I'll give you a look at it. So that's obviously the way it sits. So you got on my car the two factory lower points here, um, here and here. Um, they go straight on. So as long as that lines up, the top half will be fine because um, it doesn't 100% fit properly um, and obviously you can see there but what I have to do because normally it clips in and mine you can't remove that so what I actually have to do is trim all these clips out so I'll trim all them off and we'll um, factory uh, we'll trip all the factory cli uh, clips off and um, we'll just see how it moulds so I'm going to go outside and have a look and then we're going to end it up getting it to fit properly first and then once I've done that we'll um, give it a really good clean give it a really good prime, give it a good paint, give it a few sands between the paint paint it up and chuck it on but anyway we'll have a look at the moment and um, we'll head outside and we'll see what we can do, see how we can fit it up right so I'm just going to get a, a fresh razor blade I'm just going to trim these off so I'll quickly do that and we'll see how it fits Righto, so I've trimmed a lot of it out all along here. Um, the whole way along here, I had to trim out. I had to trim the exhaust out a little bit. Trim out here, which I went a little bit too far, I'm going to smoothen it out. Um, I had to trim off here and there. I had to drill the holes bigger. It doesn't fit 100% perfect at the moment, but it's getting there. Um, once I sicker flex it in there, it should be pretty good, but. Like once I get it all up there, it's sitting fairly nice now. It's just that I have to actually um, mould it a little bit nicer. But yeah, once I do that, it should be all right. So I'm just going to get the I'm just going to get the whizzy gun out and just um, give it a bit of a polish up and smooth it off. Right, so now I've given it a wash with a sponge and water. So now I'm going to. Now I'm going to get some prep wash or um, wax and grease remover and I'm just going to give it a real good wipe down let it dry. Then I'm going to hang it up and spray it, give it an undercoat. Just to show you, see how this is clean? That's a little bit shiny. That's because there's still some sort of residue. That's all matte, so that's all clean. So I've got to continue on there and then um, I should be able to spray it. Righto, this is my second coat of primer. I think just a clear uh, plastic uh, adhesion primer. So I'm just letting that go on. 
the second coat. And then I'm gonna finish off the gloss black. So yeah, I'll just let that dry for another five minutes and then we'll um, give it a go. Righto, so it's all painted up now. Um, it's done about four coats. Uh, there's a little bit of fluff and stuff in it, but they'll just wipe out pretty much. Um, yeah. So it's coming pretty good. I'm probably just going to see if I can test fit it now and yeah. Righto. So this is the setup to hold it on. Um, so I went all sicker flex through around the edge and then a little bit on the back so it hits on the bumper and I put one screw under there on either side and there's two two eight mil bolts holding it in as well um, I might pull these out tomorrow and prime them up and paint them so it's black and then yeah so I'll do that and um, we had to use the car because it's the only thing that's heavy enough to hold it in the groove properly and then I'm just also see how there's a few spots here that aren't 100% sealed up I'll rerun a beat of that sicker flex around it tomorrow but yeah, I won't be able to post any of these videos anyway for a few days because our internet is out over nearly the whole Australia at the moment. Optus internet, so yeah, I've just got to leave that how it is and see how a little bit here was trimmed a bit too much. I'll um, fill all that in with sicker flex and make that look good. For now, I'm just using the car to hold it, hold it up against it. Yeah, I think I might paint this black. And I'll pull these out the front here. Take these out and paint them black as well. Make them look better. Because I don't think the grey really suits it that well. So yeah, I reckon black would look nicer. And then um, also got to mask up the whole section here. The rear bar. And spray paint all that black because it's all scuffed up. That'll be for tomorrow. Anyway, we'll leave the video, that, the rest of the video, till tomorrow, and then um, I'll get back to you. Uh, so it's all glued up at the moment. Um, i just got to fill in along here and remove some of the, um, remove some of the, like, debris that's on the bumper, and then just refill it, make it look nice. And also, where I put the pressure on it, I scratched the paint off because it was still a bit wet. So I just got to touch up the paint. And um, yeah, so I'll just do that and then um, we'll see how we go with that and then I'll get back to you. So what I've done is remove the fog light and the reverse light um, surrounds and I'm just priming them at the moment and then I'm going to paint them black so it suits the rear um, diffuser. So I'll paint these up and I'll sh let you know how it goes. Alright, so I painted these up. Um, I've also removed the front fog light surrounds, and they're just over here primed up. They're just getting primed up at the moment. Um, also, yeah, don't worry about the fog lights being a bit of condensation. It's just because I've got aftermarket um, fog light bulbs in there, LED ones. They leak a little bit. Um, I've also got these evil eyes for Chloe's birthday. Well, this, this is all for Chloe's birthday present. Um, her birthday present was these. They just come today from London. Um, this was for Chloe's birthday present and all the other accessories she's getting. Because, um, you know, real boyfriends actually make their girlfriend car parts and do modifications to their car, not freaking just buy gay shit, like fucking book or something, something weak. We do the real shit around here. Anyway, so I've got to paint those front ones, but for now, I'm going to put those rear ones in. And I've also got to, I'm going to paint the front bumper along here. See how that's all stuffed up? I'm going to repaint that quickly. So, yeah, I'm just going to get into it and get it done.
But as the front bar's all sanded, like I could sand a bit more, but the grooves are pretty deep. I don't want to go too far on it. But I've sanded that all up, I'm about to prime it, and then I'll give it a respray. So that's the rear bar, or uh, the front bar, sorry, all done. Like you can see a few little scratches, but we can always redo it if we have to. But we're going to put a front limp anyway, so it's going to suit it pretty well. Um, so yeah, I've done all that underneath. I could sand for longer, but I'm literally going to a different state tomorrow, so I've got to drive this tomorrow, so I don't want to spend too much time on. I have a bit of a break. I've been doing it all today and yesterday, so yeah. But anyway, I'll um, pop these um, fog light shrouds in, and we'll um, have a look how it looks. So here's a bit of a look now with it. Front bar done bottom and those um, fog light surrounds still got to get a bit of this dust off around here I may have nicked a little bit with the sandpaper but that's alright oh that's it, it looks fresh and then once I get the bottom lip it'll be the same colour so it looks pretty cool with the bottom section black so should be right I think when I get back home, um, what I'll do is I'll pop this grill out. I'll pop this grill out and I'll paint them black as well because until we can get enough money to get the aftermarket grills, um, I, won't, I won't worry too much about it. But I'll just I'll paint it black for now, make it look a bit better because now I've got that black. I'll have that black. It will look, it'll suit it heaps. And I've got the eyelids on, they're just setting. Got the side. Um, visors and you've got the diffuser on and those other ones down here they're black now so should be pretty good um yeah so this is my last little video for the holidays um because i'm going up to see post malone in queensland in brisbane so i'm driving up tomorrow morning early so yeah pretty keen yeah it, it really changed the look of the car just making those side things black and putting those eyelids on, which you can't really tell at the moment because because of how that's sitting over it, but you'll tell once I pull it out. Anyway guys, I think that'll be nearly the end of the video. I'll get one more video of those eyelids once once I get the um, bits of towel out of there and the bits of wood and all that shit. And we'll have a look how it goes. Oh, oh.